first time you log into Brainware Safari, you will choose your Safari friend. Whichever character you pick, they will start off as a baby, but they will grow up as you pass levels and reach certain milestones in the program. The program is personalized, so you will see your name, or player's name, on the progress board, as well as on messages throughout the program as you pass levels. Out in the jungle is where all the 20 exercises in Brainware Safari are. Each develops a number of different skills in a progressively challenging and integrated way. Now we'll take a look at a few of the exercises. We're going to start with Bear Shuffle. Each exercise has level instructions, which you can also listen to being read aloud by clicking on the speaker. But I'm just going to go ahead and explain how this one works. The computer is going to give us three cards with numbers on them, and then it's going to turn them back over so we can't see them anymore. And my job is to get them into numeric order from smallest to largest. So I'm going to pick up that last one and put it in the middle. They should be in numeric order now. I'm going to check my answer. I got it right. I need to do it seven out of ten times, and you can see we keep track of that up here on the upper right with W and L for wins and losses. What I'm going to do is now is something that a user cannot do, which is go to a more challenging level just to give you an idea of how the um, level of difficulty progresses. So this is a few more levels up. This is level four of Bear Shuffle. And again, I'm going to explain it. So this time, instead of three cards, we're going to have four. And after the computer turns them back over and we can't see the numbers anymore, the computer is going to switch two cards and then it's going to switch two more cards, and then we still have to get them in the right order. So here we go. Two, six, eight, one. Now, this is the computer moving them. And now I need to move cards to get them into the right order. So I'm going to swap those middle two, and I'm going to move that six, I think that is, down there. Let's check. All right, I did it. And I once again, 7 out of 10 to pass the level. Before we leave this exercise, I want to come in here and click on the Skills button. So in this particular exercise, you can probably recognize that we were using a number of these skills. We're working on a variety of attention skills, sequential processing, visualization, processing speed, some of our very short-term memory skills, working memory, as well as spatial and sequential memory. And one of the important things about Brainware is that it develops these skills, not just here, but in other exercises in different ways and in different combinations. And that's what really helps develop these skills the way that the program does. I'm going to take a look at another exercise called Piranha Pass. And this one, the object is to get my little swimmer over to the raft without bumping into any of the piranhas. And so I am going to um, give my swimmer the instructions he needs to get there. And I'm going to send him up just a little bit. One of the things one of the things I do know, because I read the instructions, is that those markers along the side are 50 units. So I'm going to go up a little bit, and then I'm going to go right um, 300, let's say, and then I'm going to go down again, 25. So hopefully this will get my swimmer there. Let's see. All right, will he make it? Hopefully he's a far enough away from that piranha. Okay, I did it. So Jackie comes out to congratulate me. Good job. Keep up the good work. So I'm going to do one more exercise and I'm going to show you web weaving. And I'm going to go to level two and explain level one as I do it. So what's going to happen here is that the computer is going to give me a design of lines on the spider web, and then they disappear. If this were level one, I would go ahead and click the buttons to draw the design that disappeared. But now it's level two, and so we're going to make it a little bit more challenging. What I need to do is click to the beat, the metronome beat that I'm hearing, five times before I draw the image. One, two, three, four, five. Now I can go ahead and draw the image, if I remember it, which I think I do. 
Okay, and I got it right. So those are three of the 20 exercises oh, well. in Brainware Safari. I want to thank you for taking this little tour with me and um, visit us sometime at mybrainware.com.